Welcome to Build Series NYC. I'm your host, Lucy Tobias of YouTube's Lucy T WWE, and we are here with WWE superstars Natty and Lana. So give it up for them. And we're going to be talking about the 100th episode and the season finale of Total Divas tonight on E. So let's take a look at the clip. Lana, what's up? Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. I'm back in the gym with TJ. His face looks clear and glowing. His hands look great. Even though Natty just told me that her husband has chicken pox, so I don't train with him. TJ didn't mention anything to you about his chicken pox. About what? It's something that's very rare that I thought that he would have told you about. No, he did not tell me. Just say you don't want me to train with him. Natty is such a liar. I just don't understand like why Natty would say that. But I want to train with TJ because TJ is one of the best. Hook, and when you come here, you almost jump into a neck breaker. Ooh. I like that. It's like a Russian leg sweep, but a neck breaker, so it becomes like. I do. I was doing. Um, I was doing like a spinning neck breaker. Walk, bang. Hard buckles are bang. If you do that, like almost hook. Kick, neck breaker. I can either do that kick, like I can either go back and go boom. Like if I have you here, I let go and I switch my hands here. And down we go. And then also the, this hook. Ugh. Well, I feel like I should probably thank you so much. I'm gonna write no all problem. these things, but I feel like clearly Natty doesn't want me to be training with you because she's saying that you have chicken pox, so. I have chicken pox now. She was like, no, I shouldn't be training with you. You have a rare form of adult chicken pox. And that, like, it's really contagious. And I'm like, Natty, I already got chicken pox before. That Ladies and letting. gentlemen, Natalie Nidar. Yeah. She said, don't train with him because he has a rare form of adult chicken pox on weird parts of his body. Natty's been acting really strange, but also it's Natty. Half the time she has a problem and won't say it to your face and just, like, vince to her cats about it. She's brutal. I feel really bad. Natty should be the one that feels bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Natty and Lana. Welcome to Build Series NYC. Thank you. Thanks for Thank having us. Thank you. On okay. that note. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, there is a lot to talk about, about this part two <laughs> of the season finale of Total Divas. I forgot that even happened. <laughs> um, of course she did. <laughs> and I still haven't even seen the screener, so I that is all new to me also. <laughs> but before we jump into Total Divas, I do want to congratulate you both on the first ever Women's Royal Rumble this Thank past you. Sunday. Thank you. That was, I mean, I just got chills again just now. I was there in Philly, and I'm not going to lie, I was, there were definitely some tears. It was so emotional. The crowd was awesome. And I would love to know like, what was going through your heads, not only during the Rumble, but when you guys learned about this groundbreaking event. You know, we, we found out about it when everybody else found out about it, when Stephanie McMahon announced it on, on Raw. And um, to be a part of such a groundbreaking historical match, I mean, not only were we a part of the first ever women's Royal Rumble match in the WWE, but we main evented Royal Rumble. And um, we were in there with women from our past, the women, you know, from Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. And it's like the past, present, and future coming together. It was, it was just very, very surreal. And it was very um, symbolic of all of the women coming together in the WWE with this, you know, force of nature, this women's evolution that's going on right now in the WWE. Very cool. And what was going through your head, Lana? Oh gosh, I remember. I, I remember driving. I was with Rusev when it came out on Twitter, and I started screaming on the top of my lungs. And then I just started crying because it was such. I've always wanted to be a part of history and with the women, and I feel like so much a part of my career. I've been very lucky to be with the men and have learned so much from the men. But at the same time, I've kind of 
watch from the sidelines. It's kind of like, oh, if you weren't invited at prom or weren't invited to the dance. Right. Just always watch. And I'm like, I want to be a part of history. I want to be a part of these powerful women. And so to be a part of that, I just I started crying in the car. And throughout the whole day, it was very emotional for me because um, we fought so long for this and really believed so long for this moment. So to actually have this happen, it's like, it just encourages me to continually believe for the impossible because we can make the impossible possible. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna either sip this tea and start crying. <laughs> so last time, Natty, when you were on Build, we were kind of playing around with the idea of a women's rumble, and then lo and behold, a month later, Steph announced it. Right. So why don't we like speculate about when are we gonna get women tag titles? Lana actually brought that up earlier. <laughs> And, um, you know, that would be our next step. I think that and main eventing WrestleMania. Um, but I would love to be a part of the first ever women's tag team division in the WWE. And I know a partner that I won't be asking to be my partner. <laughs> um, I'll be asking you. <laughs> just kidding. You know what? We actually could make a pretty good tag team. Um, but it would just be so cool. And it's just, you just don't know what's going to happen in WWE. And that's kind of the fun part of being a part of the WWE universe and also being a superstar in the WWE is that we don't know. I mean, we a lot of the times we find out when you guys find out. Scrolling Literally. through Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I'm doing that? Okay. Who would be our dream tag team partners? If I was to pick a dream tag team partner, I would definitely, out of the current roster that is there right now, I would pick Charlotte Flair because we both come from... Legends. Wrestling, you know, dynasties and... If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely pick um, Naomi, actually. Right? Oh, I yes. could see that. We we actually showed up yesterday to SmackDown Live, and we were both wearing black outfits <laughs> and um, rhinestone boots. So I'm like, gosh, she has her glow, and I love to be ravishing. So <laughs> The ravishing and, glow. Yeah, the ravishing glow, exactly. <laughs> you guys do always show up wearing the same clothes. <laughs> always. And speaking about tag titles um, and just tag team in general, you are having your first mixed match challenge with your husband, Rusev, on February 13th against yes. Bailey and Elias. Yes. So what are you guys doing to prepare for that? And which charity are you going to be working for? Global Citizen. So I'm really excited about that, especially because we come from Eastern Europe where poverty has been such, you know, it is, it, it's a really strong um, problem over there. So I'm really glad that we're a part of something that can help fight poverty. But also, um, I'm extremely excited to face Bailey. I actually was putting it out there and kept on being like, oh, I hope I fight Bailey. I hope I fight Bailey. And I was like studying her moves and studying her fights. And just, and then when they announced it, I was like, oh, I've manifested this. So um, I was really excited about that. And Rusev is training me like on a whole other level like very Eastern European style. I'm surprised, like, I mean, Eastern European style, the more they're intense, that means the more they believe in you. It's very different than American style. So he's been training me. Um, there's quite a few videos out there of him making me just, and that's just to say the very least. So we're, you know, we're training and I, I hope to get my first win on the Mixed Match Challenge and on the Rusev Day, of course. Of, every day is Rusev. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So why not have a win on this today? <laughs> um, and also, you are a professional Bulgarian farmer. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm actually a very, I'm a professional at many things. Like, I'm a professional wrestler. <laughs> I'm a professional farmer. I'm a professional, like, to Makeup annoy artist. Natty. <laughs> <laughs> Lana does a very good job of keeping me annoyed on a weekly, daily basis. I have a lot of professions. Yes. She's very intense. It, you guys have such a fun and playful relationship. And it's, I, I find that your friendship is one that really portrays, like, the normal adult female friendships. Of, like, sometimes you want to kill each other, but at the end of the day, like, everyone knows and you know, like... You love each other and you care about each other. Exactly. It's it's like a sisterhood in the WWE. We're all around each other for upwards of, I mean, sometimes 300 days a year. So we, we do so much together. And, you know, especially with us both being on SmackDown, our locker room is really tight. And we all have each other's backs. We might not always agree or see eye to eye, but it's just like a sisterhood. And sometimes sisters fight. I mean, I remember... A few months ago, watching an episode play of Total Divas, like everything was playing out on TV, and we were watching it, 
And Lana sends me this text, and she's like, I'm so sorry that you have to watch this all again. I know it hit really close to home. I'm like, can you just let it die? <laughs> <laughs> let it die. Like, why are you bringing this up again? And I think you tweeted something that I was like, but we had it out. We had a little falling out that night, and then the next day we were great. We just had to get it out of our systems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's what you do, and that's kind of the art of communication, and that, that happens a lot on Total Divas, you know? We have conflict, we have drama, we have Lana drama, but we, <laughs> we always work through it. <laughs> we have Natalia drama. Yes, we do, and that's when the sharpshooter comes into play. <laughs> and what would you say your favorite moments are of this past season? Well, I do love, I, I loved my interactions with Lana because looking back on it now, I could watch them back and just start laughing. My dad also like has a huge crush on Lana. He was like, she, he just loves Lana. And uh, I remember when Lana came to our house, and this was, I can't remember what episode this was, but um, Lana had come to my house and she, oh, it was, I think it was the last episode. The shot put? Uh, that was oh, another that was last one. last season, yeah. when, Maybe tonight, actually. Um, she'd come to my house and we were wearing my dad's old ring jacket and my dad just kept on saying over and over and over again, like, she's so pretty. And then I, <laughs> and then I said to my dad, I go, well, I'm pretty too. And he goes, but Lana's really pretty. And I was like, <laughs> and it was just so funny because I was like, the story of my life. Oh I'll oh stick to headlocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that must be tonight because I don't remember. I definitely don't remember. Yeah, it's definitely it, tonight. My dad, you don't know what is going to be said. It might even be an outtake on the show. So, <laughs> And what is the deal with TJ's chicken pox? Um, TJ is working through that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> everybody's working through everything. Um, I love how Lana calls me out for being a liar. Listen, there's it's nothing true. a little white lie can't get you through. <laughs> you asked me if I liked that jacket earlier, and I said I loved it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> no, but, you know, TJ is just jumping into it. And this is fun, because tonight you get to see TJ for the you know, first time on, the, on this season. And um, he's just jumping into a new role. Um, he's a producer in the WWE, and... It, and it's, it's awesome to have him back, but he's so popular amongst all the talent. From Everybody just loves working with TJ because he's just so brilliant. And um, he's an incredible coach. And Lana is, you know, when Lana asked TJ for his help, I think it was really flattering to TJ because he really wants to help people learn and grow. But, you know, sometimes I'm a brat and I'm sometimes. very possessive. <laughs> and I'm going to be the first to admit, let me, let me be self-deprecating here. Um, I am just like... A lot of women where I get a little territorial and I didn't really want Lana grabbing my husband in a headlock. But TJ wanted to help her learn the ropes and I think he was just really flattered that she wanted his help. So I was just trying to, you know, make sure everything ran I just want to learn and I'm very ambitious. I love learning. And Rusev loves me learning. He loves, I mean, he loves TJ and he wanted me to train with TJ. And we actually asked Natalia and apparently she didn't remember that. But, you know. I don't recall remember either. a lot of things, apparently. <laughs> she doesn't recall a lot of moments when it's convenient for her. But, you know, that's I fine. That's why do I not remember you. either of you asking me. It that. happens. It happens to the best of us. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and have you found your um, mansion with cows yet in Sofia? Um, you know, marriage is about compromise. So <laughs> I would have loved to buy my huge mansion for pretty much pennies in Bulgaria. But um, even though I won all the competitions, which isn't a surprise. But... Um, Rusev, and really, he really wanted a small little village house. Actually, we bought a house in that where I was milking the cows and oh, wow. being a shepherd, being a professional shepherd and being a professional farmer. Um, we Have actually, you guys moved in yet? Uh, we haven't moved. His parents actually moved in. Oh. And um, a, a, actually, after we bought it, he, Rusev went back to Bulgaria and he was building, helping building the house, building. Wow. Yeah, so he's a builder, a professional builder apparently now. So, you guys um, have so many talents. I'm so jealous. You guys are so talented. <laughs> but, you know, that's what marriage is about and relationships, too. Is, it's about compromise and it's about, you know, apologizing. Like, I've had to do the natty many times, you know, taking responsibility for when you're wrong and also forgiving. And that's, a, you know, I think a big important lesson for all of us if we want to have um, good relationships in our life. And what else can we expect on part two and the 100th episode of Total Divas tonight? Well, we also look at Miz and Maurice. They're the um, it couple, and they're welcoming a new addition to their family, a little girl. Yeah, the it so baby. It's going to be kind of exciting 
to see that. And um, I've known Marie since she first started in WWE, and um, I call her the French poodle <laughs> um, because she reminds me of a poodle. She's very spoiled, and she loves it. And, um, I mean, they're already planning these little Gucci outfits for their baby. And I'm like, of course, <laughs> this kid's going to dress better than my cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> your cat's um, rich. So rich. You can follow him on Instagram <laughs> as well. But two paws, two paws. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we see Ms. and Maurice and, and this, you know, we follow their their journey. So tonight, like you, you see a lot of that, and um, I'm really excited and happy for both of them. And then obviously, Nikki's journey with Dancing with the Stars and some of the dancing, like some of the dances and the moves that Nikki was doing. We were saying in the car that I couldn't believe that she was doing a lot of it. Like it was like she's not really a dancer. I mean, she she was she played soccer and she you know competed in the ring, but she was doing all these graceful dances and these backflips. And I was like, when did you? Get Cirque du Soleil training. <laughs> so it's fun to, you know, it's going to be fun to watch that journey for her. And, you know, there's there's a few surprises. So I think everybody's going to be really excited to see it. Awesome. Well, let's turn it over to audience Q&A. Hi. Um, so I was just curious, especially now that you guys are getting to, you know, main event, these big pay-per-views, what your favorite pay-per-view of the year is. Ooh, well, for me... It's, you know, WrestleMania is my favorite. It's just, it's all of us coming together. It's like the Super Bowl of the WWE. Um, and it's huge. And it's a chance for all of us not only to come together um, as a team, but, you know, we we do a lot of community outreach programs too, tons during WrestleMania. We'll do over, over a thousand appearances, to my knowledge. Last year, I think we broke the record. Um, and we, we do so many different things for the community and it's just like whatever city we are in for Wrestlemania we come together like crazy and um, bring so much revenue to that city we bring so many different opportunities for jobs um, people c coming together for Wrestlemania and and fans coming from around the world so it's it's really cool sometimes it's scary to be walking on the street outside because people are like Natty and I'm like I just want to get a coffee and I have no makeup on and I <laughs> but but yeah it's really Wrestlemania is my favorite Next question. Hi. Um, so what's your favorite wrestling position? Ooh, Lana. Crush accolade. I break your back now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There you go. Um, for me, I definitely say the sharpshooter because usually when I put girls in that move, they always tap out and I always win. So, a sharpshooter. Thankfully, she hasn't gotten to that point with me yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Next question. Hi. Well, you guys are awesome. Uh, but I wanted to ask, how do you guys feel about Ronda Rousey coming at the Royal Rumble? And do you have a message for her, if possible? I say welcome. I mean, Ronda's um, one of my good friends. And um, we built a relationship um, before she was even signed with WWE. And, you know, the Royal Rumble was so special for all of us girls. And I was so excited when I came backstage and I got to see Rhonda because she is a friend of mine. But beyond being my friend, she's somebody that has done so much for women in sports. And she's really been a pioneer in um, sports, not just MMA, but, you know, being that figurehead in, in sports for women. Like, Serena Williams and Venus Williams and like the USA gymnast team and she's just done so much to bring attention to women and um, definitely there's going to be an adjustment we all have to you know it's like when anybody new starts a job you know we're all going to have to learn how to work together and, and that's just par for the course and I think um, and this is just me speaking on behalf of myself I think there. I think Ronda really wants to prove herself in the WWE but that's going to take time and you know we all have different journeys. Lana and I were actually talking about this earlier. We all have different journeys. Some of us were born in this, like myself and Charlotte Flair um, and Tamina Snuka, and some of us came about it a different way, like Lana and Alexa Bliss and the Bella Twins. So there's just, everybody has a different journey. This is Rhonda's journey, and Rhonda is going to have to prove herself. So that is going to take hard work and dedication and proving herself in the ring, because in the WWE, you know, our WWE fans, they'll let you know whether they like you or they hate you. But I think she has the work ethic and the drive and the attitude to do really great things in the company, and I'm excited about it. I, I really am excited to have her as a part of the WWE family. Next question. 
Well, ladies, I just want to say congratulations again on the uh, first ever uh, All Women's Royal Rumble on Sunday. Did an amazing job. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, talking about you know the clip that we saw earlier and the relationships that you have on the show. Have you ever looked back and watched the show and say to yourself, "I never realized I was like that. I never realized I, um, <laughs> you know, have an interaction question. interaction with someone and just say, well, I learned something about myself right there." Um, I have always known my weakness is my mouth. Like my mom would always say that to me. Like you know, you you can be most the most encouraging person ever, and but then once you snap, the damage that you do with your mouth is no apology can. Yes, people can forgive you, but the damage is already done. And so I think, you know, when I saw, look back and I see some of my stuff with Natty, I'm like, mm. Be, and I know I'm like that, and I'm working on that, and I'm hoping to change and to control my mouth. My mom always says, if you can control your mouth, you can control your whole life. And I think that is a very strong lesson to learn because once you've said things, no matter what, sometimes apologies can't fix it, and the damage has been done. And so that is what I'm working on is, I guess, I guess you could say my temper, but really it's like I know you, if I feel hurt, I'm going to start throwing daggers. And, um, you know... Ultimately, I don't want to hurt people, and, and a lot of times just out of my own insecurity or just being hurt, and it's the better thing to do is to take the high road, but it's a lot harder set, a lot harder, wait, what's the right word? It's easier said than done. Thank you, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I mean, every time I watch myself on the show, I'm like, what was I doing? What was I wearing? What was I thinking? What was I saying? Like, especially what was I wearing? I'm like, that, if I see Says myself- Says that on, all the time. If what I, was I, I see wearing? myself on TV in an outfit that I don't like, I'm like, that's gone. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so, so, so much for being here. I'm very excited to watch the 100th episode of Total Divas tonight at 9, 8 Central on E. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. Such good questions. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LucyTWWE for even more updates.